Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, as you can see, I'm not fishing, but I am in the woods right now. We did go fishing earlier, however, we didn't catch anything. So, I don't just want to not post a video for you guys. So, today, I'm going to go over the five lures that I think works really well in cold water. First off, we got the jerk bait. This is a classic cold water bait. I think everyone knows this at this point. Um, but basically when you jerk it in the water um, slow or fast, it makes a wicked erratic motion that the bass would probably bite because of how it moves. It acts like a dying minnow or a dying fish of some sort. And when you choose the right colors, depending on where you live, you can most definitely get a lethargic winter or early spring bass on a jerk bait. Number two is a spinner bait. Now, for a spinner bait, um, I like these colors, the fire tiger colors, the best because it works well in my area. But um, you can do obviously whatever color that you want. But basically, these blades flash and put off more vibration, and they they put off water in the water. So doing that, the bass can definitely see the flash. First of all, if it's on a sunny day, these are definitely my recommendation for cold water because they can see the flash of these the blades of the spinnerbait and it acts like um, a group of fish rather than just one fish with the skirt and these two blades number three is a classic cold water bait i think also along with the jerk bait everyone knows about is a lipless crankbait now along with the jerk bait it's kind of in the same family in my opinion because when it moves it doesn't make make a static motion like a jerk bait does but when it when you uh reel it in or you jerk it however you want it makes this kind of a dying motion and it makes a really nice erratic um, side to side wobble type in the water and using shiny colors like this on a bright day can definitely turn the larger bass into an eating bass or just an angry bass if you use this for a reaction bait bite. Number four is a fluke. Now a fluke I have just started using. Like I honestly haven't used fluke since this year, but a fluke is basically a soft version of a jerk bait. Um, so it's basically a jerk bait, but it's a soft plastic jerk bait. So you can you still do the same movements as you would a hard jerk bait with a soft one. But the difference is because this is a soft plastic, it has more movement in the tail right here, and um, that's basically about it in my opinion. It is a little bit lighter because it's soft plastic and not hard. Um, but when you move it just like a jerk bait, it has more action in the tail, which can also entice the bass to bite, of course. And using colors like this, it kind of represents like a uh, shad or like some kind of white fish that you might have in your area. I don't really have this in my area, but these do work really well because um, I have caught a fish on these before. So this is basically a soft version of a jerk bait, a fluke. Last but definitely not least, this is one of my favorite baits. This is a chatterbait. Everyone knows their lovely chatterbait name. And this is in a bluegill color. And I just like the spinnerbait. The reason why I really like doing the chatterbait as well is because of the blade that it has. Now, depending on what color blade you get, you could get silver, you could get gold. It will probably make the sun flash a different color depending uh, what color you have. But either way, it will make the sun more bright and it will flash the light. Uh, it will make the light bounce in the water when reeling this in. And not only that, you can physically feel the vibration that this uh, blade gives you when you're out reeling it in the water because of the very very harsh vibrations that you can feel using a chatterbait so with the same thing as a spinnerbait um because of the flash and of the very strong vibrations you can um make a lethargic bass bite because it's more of a reaction bait rather than a i want to eat this bait because some bass just don't like the vibration or the noise that they can hear that makes the vibration so they just get annoyed and they want to be like okay get this out of here I'm going to eat it and therefore you get a bass all right guys so that is all I have for you today I know this is a short video and um this is all my personal opinion by the way like a lot of people might have different baits that they like to use they might have more they might have less and 
Um, again, obviously this is for cold water in my opinion. Of course, you can always have something different, like maybe you don't like using jerk baits and that's fine. You can always use whatever bait that you want in any color that suits best for you and your area. But this is just my opinion and so hopefully you guys learn something about this. So next time I see you, hopefully I'll be going fishing, even though I did say that in my last video, but hopefully I promise you that maybe I'll be going fishing in my next video. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and weekend and I will see you guys later. Tight lines.